The ACC page shown here is a collection of widgets that provide an interactive graphical summary of the applications, users, URLs, threats, and content traversing your network. The ACC uses your firewall log data to provide visibility into traffic patterns and threats. The ACC page is organized as a tabbed layout. You have a network activity tab, a threat activity tab, a blocked activity tab, and a tunnel activity tab. You can add one or more custom tabs with widgets that enable you to organize the information that is most important to you. The time range up in the top left corner is the time range displayed by the data in all of the widgets. So whether it be the application usage widget, the user activity widget, or if we scroll down, source IP activity widget, destination IP activity widget, and so forth. Anyway, updating time range here updates all of these widgets. We'll just leave our time range set at seven days. Any global filters that you add to this section, and currently we have no global filters, actually filter the data in all widgets in all ACC tabs. The application view section shown over here enables you to view applications by their risk level or by their sanctioned state. Currently we have selected risk. If you select risk, then the colors green, blue, yellow, orange, and red, some of which are shown here in this risk column, are used to display the risk factors one to five, where one is the lowest risk. If you select sanctioned state, then the colors green or blue, we see blue here, indicate that you have tagged your applications as sanctioned or unsanctioned. If you happen to see a yellow colored application, it indicates a partially sanctioned application. You could create a partially sanctioned application by inconsistently applying the sanctioned application tag across multiple virtual systems on a single physical firewall. Anyway, we'll switch back to risk for the remainder of this demonstration. You can sort the data within a widget using the radio buttons at the top of the widget. The available choices in the radio buttons vary by the type of widget. For example, we can sort the applications listed in the application usage widget by the number of bytes. What this does is it orders the application list here from top to bottom by the number of bytes that, that have been seen by those applications. Or we can sort the uh, application list by sessions. So my application list here is now sorted by top to bottom, uh, the applications that have seen the most sessions to the fewest sessions. Notice also we can sort on the threats column, the content column, or the URL column by clicking the radio buttons up here as well. If you click an item in the table, for example, we'll click DNS, then that item is added as a local filter which just filters the information displayed in this particular widget. We can also promote the local filter to a global filter by clicking the left-hand arrow next to the local filter. Right here is our left-hand arrow. Notice right now we have no global filters applied, but when we click the left-hand arrow of our local filter, it is promoted to a global filter. A global filter filters the data in all widgets on the ACC tab. So every one of our widgets is now been filtered by the global filter that we just applied. Uh, to clear a global filter, you can either select it and click the minus, or if you have multiple global filters, you can just click clear all. Again, all of the widgets on all ACC tabs are updated and the filter is removed. There's also a series of small icons at the top of each um, widget in the ACC. The first icon is the maximize icon. 
What this does is opens up a list of all of our applications, and this goes beyond just the top 10 or top 20. It's pretty much all of our applications. Notice that this information can be printed out to a CSV file on the system. You can also click the filter icon in a particular widget and then add a set of filters. So for example, I could add a destination of destination address and then choose a destination address. And then I could apply this filter to my widget. Notice it tells me up here one widget is being applied. So this filter, this widget and the information is now being filtered by this one filter here. To see what this filter is, if you don't remember, you can simply click the filter icon again and it tells you what your filter is. To delete a filter, you can select the plus and then click minus down here. Or to make it simple, you could just have said clear or clicked clear all. And then apply. And notice the filter is now removed and all the original data is being displayed again. If you click the jump to logs icon, then the ACC displays a list of logs. The jump to logs icon enables you to view all your logs or jump to all your logs, except for the user ID, alarm, or authentication logs. Let's jump to the traffic logs to see what happens. Notice it takes us directly to monitor logs traffic, but it automatically applies the filters from the ACC page. This particular filter is a time filter. If the received time is greater than or equal to this date and time, but it's less than or equal to this date and time, then we'll display the information in the traffic log. This filter, once again, was inherited from the filters that were currently active on the ACC tab. Let's switch back to the ACC tab. We have one more icon over here. This is the export icon where I can choose to export this out to a PDF file if I want to. So here it's exporting or preparing to export, generating the data. Notice I have a, a file down here that I can now open. And there is the PDF of my uh, widget that I can now see. Let's just switch back to the firewall. The last thing we'll look at here on the firewall, notice there's three little icons here. What they do is they determine how this graphical information is going to be displayed here. So if I click this icon, it's going to redraw this information as a set of line graphs, or I could redraw the information as a set of bar graphs if I want to, or I could switch back to the original sort of block diagram. This concludes this demonstration of navigating the ACC widgets.